it's your boy Vex. Welcome to the Nerd Militia. And before we begin, I'm gonna have you guys go down and hit that like and subscribe button. So today we're talking about Power Rangers and not any old Power Rangers. We're talking about Power Rangers in space and not any saga of Power Rangers in space. We're talking about the Psycho Rangers saga. And that was my Facebook. So if you guys are fans of the show, you guys know I'm a huge Power Ranger fan. And you probably can't make it out too much, but right here I have the San Diego Comic-Con uh, Gold and Red Ranger, right? So that's pretty awesome. And then over here, you probably still can't make it out, but I have a morpher that is a morpher. The only thing that's really different from any other morpher is that it is the um, White Ranger and uh, Green Ranger coins. And then, of course, I have my regular other morpher right here. I'm a huge Power Ranger fan, and one of the greatest sagas for me was definitely the Cycle Ranger saga. To me, the Cycle Ranger saga was the last great saga of the Ranger series. I mean, it was one of the few times that the Rangers were pitted against an enemy that was stronger than they were, and they threw everything at the Cycle Rangers, and the Cycle Rangers threw everything back at them. So this Power Ranger book, Power Rangers Path to Psycho, was pretty cool. As you guys know, I base all these comic books off of three categories, accessibility, character, and story. So this comic book starts off with Psycho Green waking up on the moon of all places. And it turns out a little bit of his origin is that he is the adopted brother to Andromeda, AKA Hura. So after this long slumber, Psycho Green decides to go out there and find the rest of the Psycho Rangers, as well as find his adoptive sister, uh, Andromeda. During this journey of finding his sister, he does cross paths with the Space Rangers. So, I don't want to give away too much, but the main purpose of this comic book is for Boom Studios to kind of set up their own version of uh, Justice League Dark, um, the Ravagers, um, you know, uh, right now Marvel's putting out, um, I think it was called, it's called Strike Force, sort of their Dark Rangers, their, their anti-hero team of Power Rangers in their universe. So you, you have a team of uh, the Psycho Rangers who are not innately good. They just go out there and do shit and maybe they save a couple people or two. The characters are all great. It's the best that Boom could do right now as far as dark characters, but space is already a dark franchise. You have Corone who was snatched as a kid and who was brainwashed to do evil things. And you have Andros, the red space ranger who of all the rangers isn't really out there to do good. Like, his main motivation as a ranger wasn't to save the planet, but find his sister. You have those two, and then you add in Psycho Green, who is the main protagonist in the story, and things are just deep. Uh, so you don't get the story of where the Psycho powers come from, but it's left open so it could be explored at a later time. So the story's great, the characters are awesome, and the accessibility is easy. You can get into this and uh, really know what's going on. I mean, they do a good job of explaining it. So guys, I'm giving this book four skulls. That was eight. <laughs> but I'm telling you, you need to go out and get this book because this is definitely something that's going to be pulled out in Power Ranger history. It's going to be later brought up and it's going to change some things in, in the whole Boom universe. So I can't wait to see how this all plays out. All right, guys, so I'd like to give a special shout out to my geek family, Astronomy Nation. And as usual, guys, uh, thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you guys later. Stay up.